Hey, you guys have been killing me because you're asking what the heck's going on down here in Florida with a successful contractor. You're like, guys, what have you been up to? And let me tell you what, we've been up to a lot of stuff. We're here on a project today, and while I give you an update, I'm gonna show you some of the problems that we've run into. And this is just one of many that we've run into because we're training new people. And with training new people, you're always gonna have miscommunication and things that pop up because they haven't seen it before and I haven't seen it before because I'm learning just as much as the guys that are working with me because I've never built fence in Florida before. Well, I've got a couple under my belt now. But anyhow, let's take you out back and show you what this project's all about. As you can see, we have sprouted this really nice crop of steel posts right through this paver patio. And that was not without some effort and some thought. The customer poured or had their patio built right onto the property line. So we cannot put the fence right here because this is not their property. This is their property, this is not their property. So we had no choice but to go through the paver patio. And I know you're thinking, you know what? This doesn't look like it's that bad, but Come with me and we'll show you how it gets a little bit more challenging. Now, watch out. Ah. Okay, that was only like a foot. But when I got the pictures of this project to approve the bid, I got pictures from this vantage point making it look extremely flat. And if you look right down here, you can tell that it is not flat. And the other side is even worse. Initially, my mistake, I thought we were gonna go on the outside of the patio and then found out after the customer accepted the bid, we're not gonna go on the outside, but we're gonna go through it. Thinking, you know what, that's not that big a deal. We'll deal with it. These are just a couple inches, we'll just drill them or cut them or whatever. And then I got to the project and noticed that we didn't only have a paver patio, but we have a wall underneath of it. And that made things a lot more difficult. Luckily, we did this today and yesterday a core drill that I ordered almost two months ago showed up. So like God is smiling down on us and delivered what we needed. We went ahead and drilled all this this morning. We'll show you what that drilling looks like and we'll show you how we got all these posts in. Ta-da! Hey, you probably noticed in the background this fine young gentleman wiping down this brand new aluminum fence. This is Austin. Austin came to us from the food service industry. How many days of fence building did you have? Zero. Zero. He uh, ran a pretty nice spatula. He was uh, the fastest spatula in Had South St. Augustine or something. I don't know. Had to be. Um, but we've taught him things such as how to use a drill. You actually bought a tape measure for this job, so comes to us with a, just a world of experience, but we're trying to expand upon his experience and teach him a little bit about the fence building. So how long have you been here? It's like six weeks? Yeah, yeah six weeks, so uh, he likes to go hang out with Kate on the weekends. And over on this side of the yard, we have Tyler Stevens. Tyler Stevens comes to us from the plumbing industry and more recently the hydraulic hose industry. He was making hydraulic hoses for what? Back back yeah, back trucks. Back truck. Got tired of the long late hours and because he was working third shift or something. Third shift. Third shift, 16 hours, and he was just kind of over it, driving too far. And normally he's a little bit more spry. You probably can't tell. Uh, he had some bad sushi, so he's he's not jumping over the fences today, but he is doing a nice job of wiping down this brand new aluminum fence that we uh, put in this morning. So that's two of them. And we've got a shop guy that we'll introduce you to. And I don't know if we'll get to Larry, but we've talked about Larry a little bit. And he's the guy that actually sells these jobs and is learning how to take really good photos of the project site so that we can see the complications that we're going to run into before we submit the bid to the customer. So they're wiping this fence down because as we install the dry concrete into the holes, the dust gets all over the fence and leaves this dull finish. And so the only way to get that off is not simply by spraying it, but we have to take a microfiber cloth, wipe all that off. And our customers notice these small things. And that's one of the ways that we're finding our success in a market that's flooded with fence builders that don't necessarily care 
or take a lot of pride in what they're doing. They're just trying to get it done fast and they're trying to get it done cheap. The whole reason we got this job is because we offered them a unique solution rather than trying to mount the fence to the top of the concrete patio. We offered them the option to core drill through it and then pound the posts. And that is why we were chosen for this project, not because we were the cheapest and not because of any other reason, but because we offered them a unique solution to their problem. That's what we're trying to do more here in Florida than anything is offer unique solutions to problems and do something a little bit differently than everybody else is doing, which is why we're gonna install these steel posts and then sleeve the vinyl down over the top of it using our no dig method. And we have had a tremendous amount of people call us, email us, message us on Facebook because they like the no dig option because they don't wanna to have to deal with the mess. I wish that that was an option for the aluminum, but for right now, we're stuck digging and setting posts until we can figure out a way to do this no dig. But we are having a tremendous amount of success doing the no dig privacy fences for wood and then also the vinyl fences. Our customers have come to expect that and nobody else is doing that. So we can charge a little bit more, we get better margins for that because we're finding our unique place in a market that's flooded with other people. Winding up a cord, something I never thought I'd have to teach somebody. But Austin doesn't know how. I don't know, what did that take? Not very long. Easy peasy. That's all you eagle eyes are thinking. You're thinking, well, you know what? Those things aren't very straight. And well, you'd be right. They're not perfect, but they're close enough. And we have adjustment in the donuts. So that's not gonna be an issue for us at all. Tomorrow when we put the donuts on, we'll take all that out and the vinyl fence will be perfectly straight. And we don't have to bend any of these posts. We don't have to do any of that because we have adjustment in the donuts. And that's why people love the no dig vinyl fence. No mess, super easy, and super strong. So one of the things that we're doing, just to add value to what we're doing to customers to help show them is, is that we're not offering any short sections. We could have made this section, all the, these two panels full, and then this panel would have ended up being about this big. And we don't like to do that. So one of the things we're doing that other people aren't doing is we're trimming all the sections down to make them uniform on the side if we need to. Uh, especially when we only have three sections to spread that difference out on. Other things we're doing is, is trimming a little bit off of both ends to make sure that the picket's pretty uniform on both sides. It's all those little touches that we're trying to show the customer what we're doing different than everybody else is. And this entire side was cut down to where each one of these panels, this is 20 feet. If we'd have done three full sections, we would have ended up having a section at the very end that was only two feet long. And that just looks terrible and you see it all over the place. You can look back in some of these backyards right back behind me and notice where they did that and it just looks weird. That's not what we're about. We're not about that life. That's all I have to say about that. Movie stars. Yeah, movie stars.